Hello, hello everyone. This is Victor with you here and we are yet again with the new trading example, trading idea for the coming week. Before we get started, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. So the another idea from the forexboat.com is for Great British Pound versus Australian Dollar. But before that, we will quickly jump on our previous uh, idea on the Euro versus GBP. We had a buy trade last week, if you remember, that was the idea to go long in this area. And what has happened down up trend trend line rejected, moving average rejected. So yes, we are moving higher and we are yet to reach our take profit. I have moved stop loss to the entry point. So this is completely risk free trade, although stop loss can be moved just below the moving average just to get some profit. But all in all, it's good. I actually closed half of the trade with profit already. You can see because previous trade was one lot and actually we fixed some profit and just waiting now for the outcome, whether it's going to go hit our take profit or not. But overall, we can even move our stop loss higher. So we secure the profit. Now for the new trade idea for this week is GBP out. Uh, I was looking at the higher time frames. Like on the monthly time frame, you can see that price cleanly, cleanly rejected 61.8 FIPS. This was um, this is a doji candle which closed below and the spike was higher, although we will need to see this week. If this um, week will be below, that would be good, but already it's a good trade. And we will, we will now go into the details as to why. Now, let's move to the weekly chart. On the weekly, there is a the ascending channel, you can see. And we are right at the top of this channel, which is actually could provide some selling pressure for this pair. Now, on the four hour time frame, we have this huge range. This, is, this means that the market um, has some sort of indecision. And this is good because there is no clear uptrend uh, from now on. This could be a long term reversal point for the GBP versus Australian dollar. And this is what we're looking to capitalize on if, if it reverses. Now, on the one hour chart, you can see the descending channel here was broken just recently on a one hour chart, just a few hours back. And this is the area actually for selling opportunity. You can see this breakout, although the moving average is still holding, but pair is showing weaknesses on the higher time frame. This could be very well a reversal. Now, Moving on to the 15 minute chart. This is our selling zone actually. If pair retraces, this could be a good selling opportunity. So just wait for any sort of pullbacks up until, uh, up until um, probably the end of the day. It should be good is selling in the area between 97.25 and 99. So this is the selling zone and it should start producing low lows, although expect a pullback that would be an ideal scenario to enter around this price where it testing the moving average somewhere near 1.9900 that's the ideal entry point although uh, selling could be initiated anywhere between uh, basically i will show you the area this is a selling area uh, for the gbp australian dollar now for the target our target would be 161.8 fips which is 9260 92 sorry 92.80 something about that about 93 uh, it will be a strong psychological support i would suggest and this is where i would place my take profit somewhere at 93 area would be just perfect the stop loss i would probably use uh, this high as a stop loss because it's enough if if price decides to go higher uh, I would be out of trade, but probably four hour close above would invalidate the bearish scenario. So I would be waiting only for this area if it breaks above. Although at the same time, guys, key area remains here at 2.0200. This is the key. So you could use the stop loss here. It depends on your risk reward profile. But overall, this should be enough. Now on the, I have another. FIPS on the weekly chart here, 
uh, and we can see it corresponds to 50 retracement. I just used this high because this was a spike. It could be a stop loss kickout move. Um, so I used just to initial move without the spike and it could be uh, 92, 50, 92, uh, 93, 00, our target at 50% FIPS. So that's it guys for today. This is the trade setup that uh, might be interesting. Uh, hopefully you like this idea. If you do, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our videos. This was Victor Review from theforexboat.com and till next time.